now I am going to open my console. This is the place where I finished in my first tutorial. So my console is opening. I think internet is slow. Okay, you can see there is a quite good number of projects. Okay, add project and I'm going to name it as a test app Firebase. Okay, you it should not be unique, it's really generated, but the project ID should be unique. It is auto-generated and I'm going to change my region to India because I live in India. Okay, create project and but I'm going to cancel this because I have quite a good number of projects and I'm going to use my old project and you will get the same screen when you will click on the create project. Now I'm going to click on the add Firebase to your Android app and to register your app you just need this application id and which is stored in your build.gridle file and uh, there are two gridle file one is app level second one is project level but this is stored in your app level gridle bit so i will show you that how you can see that app level gridle bit for that you just have to go to your project preview and you can see this here is a inside the app directory here is a build.gridle this is your app level gridle build and inside this you can see in the line number 26 here is a tk .net, tk .firebase .firebase. this is our application id we just have to copy this and we have to paste it in our console okay uh, this is our android package name and the second one is uh, app nickname this is optional you can skip this but i am going to name it something so let's name it android flutter and database database okay because now this is a debug signing certificate sh1 this is also optional but i will also put this because this is for the debugging purposes and uh, for windows you have to just copy this and paste it into your command prompt and for mac and linux you have to copy those code and paste in the terminal but in my case that code was not working so i had search on uh, what this is uh, stack overflow and i got this code and i am going to paste it and i will get my sha1 code okay now i'd copied this and i will paste this in my console okay debug signing so i had paste it earlier so that it is giving me hint a register app and the next step is download config file now i am going to download this configuration file google services.json okay and this file has been downloaded and in the right side there is an image which is showing that where i have to put this file you can see this okay first i am going to just copy this file and after copying i am just going to this I'll close this preview android inside the android open this app directory and inside the app directory i'm going to paste this file because this is the right place where and this is the place where google has mentioned that we have to keep this file this is the configuration file for that firebase okay, now close this tree view tree view that's actually tree view tree view tree view i am telling this don't be confused that's tree view okay now add firebase sdk to add the firebase sdk we need to add something to the project level grid, griddle build there are two types of griddle build first one is project level and second one is app level so i have to paste it in a, okay one minute let's open this this is the project level griddle build and i have to paste that in build script inside that there is a dependencies and repository I, we have to post paste in dependencies so paste it here i had copied that earlier now i'm pasting it just save it and close it and after that there is a project level build.gridle file and now i am going to this file and i will add this file. i will not add this line because we are not working with this uh, java sdk we are working with uh, flutter so we will add the flutter uh, flutter dependencies so inside the app we are going to this build.gridle file and we will add this at the bottom and now we will just close this okay we, i think we have we are done here and let's see in this chrome that uh, is there anything is missing or not okay we don't have to use this thing because we are not using this java and run your 
have to verify installation we have to just deploy our code, deploy our app to and uh, and device to confirm that that our app uh, has been connected to the google firebase server so i am going to use my visor visor actually do that uh, cast my real device on my pc i am using real device to connect to this firebase i'm not using the, that virtual device and this is the visor my phone mi max and i am casting that phone on my uh, screen laptop screen and this is my dashboard of console of firebase and run your app to verify and there are three screen each one are stacked on each other and now it's checking it will install it's checking time it will take time and why this is taking quite a long time okay now no 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 okay wait for some time okay now it's installing you can see in this uh, window installing and in this chrome and visor now it will be installing 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 okay it's the app has been installed and it's opening and this is a flutter boilerplate code whenever you create a flutter project it come with this code only and i haven't modified that code i had only added that firebase sdk to our app it will take 5 to 10 seconds okay congrats your app has been successfully added to firebase and now we are ready to go in the next tutorial i will discuss about something else like uh, database or anything else for now thanks